Ladies and gentlemen, guys and gals, welcome back to Caesar 3 on Sarmi Zegatusa and the Flower Blocks. Now, in the last part, we established our city, started feeding people, and got our defenses and military up and running. But in this part, we're going to try work towards luxury palaces and just reaching our goals, which actually aren't too far off. So, let's go ahead and get things started. Alright guys, welcome back to Sarmi Zegatusa. Food supply is looking good, so I'm gonna go right up here and drop a gatehouse right here. Because I can. And I'm going to break that road and put a small statue in its place. And I'm gonna drop a market right here to try and feed these houses down here. I could fit a market right here as well. Because there seems to be enough food. There seems to be enough food. So I'm going to be scattering uh, markets around here. Just to try and stabilize the food supply. Okay? Now, luxury palaces. Luxury palaces. Do we have enough employment? We have 6% unemployment, which is good. You know, with this much surplus food, we could even just drop a market right there. Why not? Why not feed these houses? We can. Uh, just, just for funds, right? Just for funds. It's okay. Um, this fire block doing well, 20,000 in the bank, reaching 3,000 people, which is half our target population. We have so much to do, we have so much to do. Now, luxury palaces. We're gonna slow the game down. There's no real good spot for them, so I'm gonna be building them right here on top of all this farmland. Not, uh, not the best, but this much farmland up here should be plenty to start feeding this block as well as this block because we don't need that many people. And of course, with any, any luxury palace block, we need some alliteration. And I thought of it, I thought of it for flower blocks. It's gonna be the botanical bourgeoisie. The botanical bourgeoisie. Now, looking at Mika Fex's designs, Mika Fex, a viewer who's usually in chat, uh, I've used three designs which were sent over to me, designed by Mika Fex. But this one, since, uh, since it's gonna be luxury palaces, I'm gonna be a little simpler and just do something on my own. Something very sort of basic. Uh, should I cut down these trees? I'm just gonna cut down these trees. I like the look of the trees in Caesar 3, but we need the space. We need the space. So let's clear off all of this. Okay. So nice open area here. And we are still gonna do a flower, but we're gonna do something much, much simpler much simpler. So we're just gonna start with like a 3x3 three three in the middle, that's usually a nice start. And I'm just going to have like something very simple. Let's see, one, two, one, two, three, four. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Is that correct? Yep, so it's one, two, six, one, two, one, two, three, four. Like that. That's two petals. Why is this wrong? Oh, it's supposed to be like that. Why am I so bad at drawing blocks? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and then we have... How, how do I make this look somewhat flower-like? One, two, one, two, three, four. Let me just see how I can make this flower like. Do I want it like that? Or would it be better if I just did this? This is more functional. You know, we're gonna keep it functional. One, two, three, four, five, six. That looks wrong. Did I measure this wrong? How do I always do this? How do I always do this? So this needs to be like that. How do I always get this wrong? I think it's something to do with how my brain processes isometric shapes. That's still wrong. What what am I doing? This should be there. Look, it's a good thing we have infinite money. Is that correct? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. You know? And to keep that looking a bit more symmetrical, I will boost that up by two. Is that correct? 
I think that's correct. I think that's correct. Yes, yes, good. Uh, Borlumi asks, am I a video game developer designer IRL? I have designed video games. I've studied video game design in college. I'm a qualified multimedia and interactive media designer. My specialty is designing experiences, which is what video games are, but I've never made a proper video game. I've never made a proper video game, but a lot of my classmates from, from college and university um, have gone on to become game devs. They are game devs. One of my lecturers actually works at Square Enix, and uh, you know, in Final Fantasy XV, in Final Fantasy XV, if you go to the food market in the first major city you go to, in the food market, there is Malaysian food in that market. There is satay in that market because my ex lecturer uh, works at Square Enix, and he wanted to put Malaysian food in the market. Is that cool? Is that cool? <laughs> um, yeah, so that that's something you know. Anyway, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, and some of my my classmates work at companies related to like Street Fighter and all of that. Uh, okay, so there we go. Now we want this is one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. This is five by five. Can I make this look good? Where do I put the houses? Ah, like this. So the luxury palaces can be the extra petals here. And we're gonna go and control Something is measured wrong here. Is it? That's not measured wrong. It's not measured wrong. Yeah, this is... No, something is measured wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... It is measured wrong. Got it. Guys, I caught it. So it's like that. And like that. And like that, and like that. Okay. Do I want to do that? No, no. Let's let's keep it a bit more flower-like by doing this. Ooh, just enough space. And we're gonna then. line. Eh, not like that. Do I want to have the gardens go all the way like that? Does that sort of make sense? No, that's looking good. And you, you know, since we have infinite money, might as well plaza it up. Right from the start. Okay, good. So we've got four luxury palaces. We can definitely fit more, but I'm not gonna rush it. Now, Hippodrome. We are gonna have to build some somewhere else and use Destination Walker. Oh, really? There's a rock right there? There's no way to rotate this, right? We can't cheat our way around this. No. <laughs> There's a rock right there. That's annoying. That's annoying. Uh, we'll just build a Hippodrome. It's not tricky. We just build it anywhere. We can place it right there. We'll use Destination Walker. We can have it right here. But we do need the road touching the northern side. Though. Ah, we can fit it right here. We can fit it right here, no problem. Okay. So those are gonna move in. Let's make sure nothing collapses. Uh, how do I want to arrange this? If I just do this, that should cover everything. Make sure doctors cover everything. Barbers. Yeah, if we just have two of everything, it should be fine, right? Yeah, yeah it should be fine. 
Also, with this, I can now just put a gatehouse, like right here. Do I want it there? Yeah, yeah. I'll have it come out this side. That's kind of a step. I'm also going to shift this aqueduct over, like that, to clear some space. Okay. So that I can then just have a house there. This road extends like this. We're gonna need three granaries, an engineer's post there, probably some houses right there, a house back there as well. We're gonna need warehouses. Uh, if we have a house there, we probably don't need... You know, I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna keep that. And how far can the farms go here? Until there? Okay. One, two, three. And we're gonna do that. And we can break that. Okay, so we can now get all of our food going. Places for storage yards, a little trickier. Uh, should be okay, warehouse. I can stick one there. I can put one, two. I can do that, but I will need an opening there just in case. And this will be getting pottery. This will be getting furniture. Uh, can we grow... How does oil work? We buy it. Okay. This will be accepting wine. And we will need to open this trade route, which we might as well just open it now. So I can fix all of this issue. Not accepting. Uh, not accepting. Not accepting. Oh, now I have to go around changing all of these warehouses. I hate it how it does this. Um, where else? Here. This is just the custom furniture. Okay. Uh, any here? You too. Turn off oil. Turn off oil. Now I'm probably not gonna provide oil to the rest of my city. But I'm gonna need another warehouse, aren't I? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I can shift to this. Wait, I need that touching. No, it's fine. I'm gonna do that. That warehouse can sit there. Getting potted. Which allows me to put... A wine workshop. <laughs> that will work out nicely. Farms... Oh, I can't have a farm there? I mean, worst case, I can have farms there. 
Wait. Oh, I see, I see. If I can't have that there, I'm gonna have to do this. It's fine, it's fine. I didn't realize farmland doesn't reach that far. Vegetables. Pigs. And you know, vines, yeah, I can fit it there, that's okay. Which, actually, I don't need to do that because I can fit the wine workshop right there. Good. And I can then shift this back against the cliff face. Look at that, designing the botanical bourgeoisie. So this is getting pottery. Okay, now what are you guys saying? Could put the fountain right in the center of the block? Uh, can I actually make that work? Two, three, four. It will. One, two, three, four. Would it reach? Would it reach if there's a fountain right there? Does that reservoir reach or am I gonna have to do something interesting here? Did that? Oh, it doesn't quite reach. How do I. I could move it in, like that. I mean, it's not the... I could do that. Aqueduct over like that. All right, you have to not have a plaza. Why? Oh, can it not be right up? Wait, what? got to be there, is it? I mean, just to get this running. Oh wow, it is actually, it does reach all four houses. Oh, <laughs> I like that. I like that. Don't forget your distant battle to handle. Oh yeah. Um, we have 18 months, you know, I'd like to keep one of my legionnaires back at home. So these houses are all starting to move in. Our employment is 7% unemployment, okay. Now, raw materials. Can I actually just fit the industry right here onto, onto things? Because if I do that, and then I do that, can I just get the pottery coming in straight to here? It should be fine, right? It should, it should be okay, right? Since prosperity requirements are not that high, 50, this should actually work out quite nicely. How's food supply doing here? Oh, we are actually using up quite a bit of food. You know, let's not feed those people. It's fine. It's fine. We're going through a bit of a first feeding. But okay, let's see if we can get these houses evolved. We're gonna start producing some wine. To stabilize employment, I will put down some houses right there. Nothing should be collapsing. Uh, I will need another engineer's post here to make sure nothing collapses. Because of all those granaries. Oh right, before I forget. Wheat. Vegetables. And meat. Actually, since wheat is the closest, this should be the furthest. So we should actually go meat, vegetables, wheat. Right? That, that makes more sense. Because I put wheat first, so it should go to the furthest granary. This is just a min-maxi thing. I do love the look of vine farms. Look at that, look at that. Okay, four luxury palaces should be fine. Look, we've spent 5,000, but it doesn't matter. It's okay. All these houses are moving in. Yeah, we probably can't feed this and that. And again, it is just sort of... No access to local religious facilities, really. Well, we can spam some temples. Do we have an even number of temples right now? Yeah, they're all irritated. So, you know, I don't remember if I have a... Fa 
Ma's blessing, but you know, we're gonna need lots of temples to raise our culture anyway. Mercury. Mars. And Venus. Now one of these religious people should walk down this way. We have so many... There we go, there we go. Evolve these houses, please. Okay, that's good. Why aren't these houses evolving? No basic educational facilities. Well, spamming some schools around, not the worst thing. Oh wait, no, I can't do that. That will block that entrance. Can I make this work at all? There's a gap there. Can I put a road there? I can. Okay. So I can put a school here. Good. Oh, they can still walk through there as well. Okay. So we're bringing some furniture over, which would be good. Wine will be produced. Uh, we can just set this to start importing wine because money's not an issue. So just fill up that, that warehouse. That'll get us the two types of wine. Pottery will be produced by this block itself. Uh, oil. We need to import oil as well. So import that too. So this is going to kill my money, but, you know, it's going to be fine. We can start taxing people. Uh, we are still paying 40... Rome pays 45, so we need 5, 1, 2, 3. 53. And... Forums. Spam some farms. Farm. Make sure you're all paying taxes. There's that festival to Mars. I can't remember. I can't remember. How much does it cost to import wine? Probably a lot. <laughs> Probably a lot. Just a guess. Probably a lot. Make sure you're all paying taxes. Four forms. How's employment? 3% unemployment. Yes. These houses evolving is bringing in all the people we need. So then I just have to start thinking of entertainment. So let's see. How do I... Oh, we have to think of... Can we import marble, by the way? Can we get marble? Oh, we can import marble. If I uh, just set that up. Have this accepting marble. We can start getting some oracles going. Let's import marble. Okay. Look at our money. It's insane. These native traders, look, just, just grabbing all that furniture, giving us money. We're back at 20,000. And the symbol says, I hate collecting taxes from these run-down houses. It's hardly worth my time. These houses pay so little oh, tax. That's what he says. It hardly seems worth my time. These houses pay so little tax. It hardly seems worth my time. Mm. Now how about here? Are you okay? These houses pay so little tax. Oh, come on. They're small casas. Don't they pay enough tax? Oh well. Bit of pottery is coming in, wine, furniture, oil will be coming in, three types of food, so it's just services. Uh, desirability may be an issue, so I'm just gonna try and... So we're gonna try double up our services. I can't have a thing there, unless I just put two houses there instead. That's probably going to be more stable, allowing me to go... 50, theater, theater? Distant battle? Okay, so we're probably... Do I have two full forts? 16? Yeah? So I'm going to send... Javelin? Javelin, Legionnaire, Legionnaires. Keeping one Legionnaire and Javelin back at home. Dispatch. Okay, they're off. Bathhouse, bathhouse. Theater, theater. Um, barber. Where do I fit this to make it look okay? Barber, barber. 
I'm not taxing these houses. Forum, forum. Uh, amphitheaters. It'd be efficient if I put it there, but I can't make it symmetrical. Ooh, I could. If I just move this pottery workshop to somewhere else. Is it worth doing that? I don't know. We just need a bit of pottery here, actually. Um, entertainment, amphitheater. So this is not quite symmetrical, but two amphitheaters should cover things. Uh, schools, right. And schools are bad desirability, so we want to have them a little bit further away. But I have to kind of do something like that. School, school. Oh, sorry, just knocking things over. 3% unemployment, okay, we can keep things going. Library. Library, library. What else do we need? Temples, there's no temples here. Um, that reservoir is going to cause problems, isn't it? Surely I can have the reservoir right here. Yeah, it does work, it does work. And that should still be in range, right? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, temple, small temple series. Neptune. Mercury. Mars. It doesn't really matter. Venus. Okay. Colosseum, I just realized. I could fit it there, it's a big waste of space, but you know, not the worst thing, not the worst thing. We've imported this much wine, are we not importing, oh wait, we don't have a place to put oil, right, that's, that's why. Uh... If I set this... No, no, I can't set that to getting oil. How do I... Look at that. Efficiency. Accepting oil. Okay, so now oil can come in. Uh, what else do we need? Um, oh, I'm gonna need the markets up this side, so I probably should actually move some of these services. Uh, that school, you know, let's stick it down there instead. I bet we're not covering something with schools anyway. I don't know, we should be okay. Does this one school cover everything? That would be unlikely. Employees needed, yeah. I don't know if that reached. Does that reach? It might. I think? I don't know. The nice thing about these houses is because I think that two tiles in range of this central circle. So it does actually hit quite a few things. Okay, so these houses... Are we struggling to keep up with the food supply here? Yeah, we are. So to mitigate that, let me get rid of the libraries here. Knock down some houses here. Keep the farms going. Yeah. 
feeding this area seems to be struggling a little bit. Ah, marble is in, which means we can then go Oracle, 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 Oracle. Oh, look at that. It's the, the little spiky one. Perf perfectly placed. Perfectly placed. One of the fountains no longer works in that flower block near the entry point. Ah. I see why those houses devolve. It's not a food issue. Um, hmm. just need to have a reservoir right there. <laughs> That's why. That's why. It's a juke. Nice, ni nice catch. Nice catch. Well, the botanical bourgeoisie seem to be doing well. We are shot by quite a few workers. So, to... Do I want to cut back anything for now? Well, let's just knock these away first. Um, what can we cut back on? Well, let's cut back on some wood production there. Let's cut back on some wood production here. Mars spirit, fantastic, thank you. Uh, let's cut back on some weapon production. Yeah. And wood production. There. Because money isn't really a concern. Where did I put these? Amphitheater, amphitheater. Now in terms of, uh... Entertainment. That's a little bit more of a problem. I can put... Let's see, I will need at least two... Uh... Chariot makers. One, two, three. Okay, so this temple to Venus needs to move. And then I just need sort of like... The colonies, gladiator schools, lion house. For two types of wine, I don't think I need to actually be making my own wine. So I can then put the lion house here, right? And have the Colosseum here. Replace that clay pit collapsed. Okay. Library, library. Not there. Okay. And that bathhouse. One there. But we got that working. We got that working. Okay, okay. Can I check prices for marble and wine imports? Always interested in the actual cost to import. I'm just gonna move the bathhouse there for now so that I can put market. Bam, bam. Two markets right there. Yes, this is gonna work out so well. Uh, prices, prices, show prices. Let's see. Imports for marble, 200 a unit. For wine, 215 a unit. Until the warehouses are full, um, our money will keep going down a little bit. For oil as well. Oh, how much is oil? Oil is 180. Okay, so it is all very expensive, but we've got plenty in the bank. So now with the two markets there, we can start evolving these houses. 
Yeah, yeah. Ooh. I could move the actor colony to put the Colosseum to the left a bit. Oh, you mean this theater? That is true. Right? That will fit there, right? Oh, that would be so much better. That would be so much better. That's such a good catch. Uh, Colosseum. Oh, look at that. In the theater. Oh, that's so much better. The symbol. Nice catch. Nice catch. That, that is so, so much better. Still have unemployment, surprisingly. Wow, I thought I would have uh, overdone it. We haven't put down, like, academies and stuff. Um, but uh, we'll be evolving these houses relatively quickly. Relief force doing what needs to be done. Your relief force defeated the invading barbarians. In gratitude, Caesar sends materials and men to let you build a triumphal arch in your city. Now, we don't really need that. Um, I don't know where I'd put one, but okay. Thank you. Uh, so the Colosseum's down there, and it should be providing entertainment. Is it hitting everything? It's hitting the four houses? Okay, it's hitting the four houses. So... Have these markets taken things? They're just about taking wheat? They're just about taking wheat? Okay. So this should, just having one wine workshop should actually count as producing. But it doesn't actually have to be there. But I'm, I'm, I'll just, I'll, I'll see how it works. Okay, there we go. Small casa evolving. So the markets are slowly going to take everything. The four resources they need are here. The three types of food they need are there, so it's all just services. Four luxury palaces shouldn't require too much resources. It shouldn't require too much. How is food supply doing? You know, I think I might need another granary down here getting. Could I make that work? I just put one here. It should be fine. We just need to sort of bring it further down this way. There's enough food. There's enough food. We just need more bringing things down. To mitigate that, I'll also have an engineer's post. Okay. That will allow these two markets to have a get from there. These two markets to get... These houses are small insulate, needs furniture, furniture is there. Pottery's in, okay, three types of food are in. I don't even know if I need two farms each, probably okay, probably okay. Save, I probably should, probably should, right? That's before we mess something up. Once these uh, palaces are evolved, it's just going to be peace and population, which is the tricky thing. Because unemployment, you know, I just need to evolve houses a little bit more, then I could get those academies down. Can I just garden that up? Garden that up? Oh wait, no, I can't do that. That's going to connect these roads. Let's not allow that to happen. So those are evolved. Is this? That's just not getting food, I think. After that, it's just gonna be getting pottery here, which is. I haven't really built this properly. I think I need to set up a pottery industry here. Uh, move this temple to series. Let's clear off some of these houses so that I can put raw materials, clay pit. Five, one, two, three. Clear that. Put the warehouse. Here, set this to accepting pottery. 
Oh, look at our money. It, it doesn't matter how much we import. Workshop. Pottery. Four pottery workshops. So we can cross over through there. So if I... Move that temple to Mars. To there, temporarily. Have a warehouse right here. Set this to getting pottery. And set another warehouse down this side. To getting pottery. There we go. That will bring over enough pottery. They will not get from here because this is also set to getting. So if it, that ever runs short, then it'll be fine. You know, I'm gonna need this for efficiency, so... Do that, so I can have three clay pits. I probably need three, right? I probably need three. Workshop pottery. Let's get that going. Now, that would be short by 103, jeez. Um, oh, because these are becoming Grand Insulets? Okay, so that's good. Uh, I think I just cut back on industries, yeah? The industries I use for making money. I need to evolve this block of houses. Uh, I can probably cut back on farms as well because it looks like there's actually enough food, so let's do that. And you know, I learned from Lugdunum, we don't actually need to have houses all nicely evolved. This farmland, sure, just, just, just do that. <laughs> I misclicked, I missed. They'll despawn, they'll despawn, it's fine. Just, just fill, th fill this all up. Look, look, it's fine. It's fine. They despawn if they're too far from the road. Okay, there we go. Look, this will, like, why am I panicking? I learned from Lugdunum. I learned from Lugdunum. We can have as many tents as we like. It's fine. It's fine. Look, it's, it's just, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Look, this is going to bring in so many people. Sure, why not? So now I can have my double chariot maker here which will send the two chariots down this way. This is not enough entertainment, really? Entertainment. Colosseum. Ah. The Colosseum is not sending walkers down that way. Uh, is theater okay? Yeah, entertainment, Colosseum. Oh, there we go, there we go. But it's not stable, I think. These two top houses are covered by that walker, okay. Education schools, okay. Education libraries, okay. Education, uh, no, entertainment amphitheater, okay. The single Colosseum is a little concerning. Need second type of food. All the markets have three types of food, so we just need to have a market lady walk by there. Um, no hospitals, okay. I forgot about hospitals. Hospital? Move this pottery workshop to there. Get rid of that so that I can put my gatehouse right there, which connects out to where I need the hippodrome to be, which would be doesn't matter how this connects. Our troops are not back. 
How did... How did they get to us so quickly? <laughs> I thought they were still far away, but, um, hmm. Okay, pottery is gonna start coming in here a little bit, but, oh, I just realized we don't have bathhouses. That, that sucks a bit. Um, I don't actually have spots for bathhouses. Um, hmm. I think I have to destroy some houses. Three bathhouses, okay, okay. Fifteen furniture. All right. We actually don't have enough. You know, I'm gonna turn off exports. The weapons are fine. Turn off furniture exports, not trading. Because the natives are just gonna... Do the natives buy things I'm not exporting? I don't know. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh well, uh, this is... Not getting a supply of furniture, really. These market ladies are not quite as stable as I hoped. Ran out of oil. How... How is no market lady... Commerce. Food stocks. How is no market lady walking down this way? Hmm. Maybe I have to... Increase the number of markets. There we go. I mean, it, it they do pass, but it's like, it's not stable enough. It's not stable enough. So I'm going to put down two more markets here. So those two markets are going to be properly stocked very easily. These two markets further away, it's going to be a little trickier for them. Uh, by the way, I just realized I want to garden that up. That doesn't look as good as I want it to be. Oh right, I can't garden that up, because that will connect the roads. That's what we're doing, okay. It's like, this is not getting oil, but both markets have oil. Hmm. Well, two extra markets should do it. Um, how's our employment? 10% unemployment, wonderful. That means we can just drop the Hippodrome right... gonna wait for that. Drop the hippodrome right there with the engineer's post right there. It's got housing access from there. That deals with unemployment. And now these two should start sending out chariots down both sides of the road. There's one, there's two. Fantastic. And they'll pass both houses. Yes. Okay, there we go, there we go. Oof. Hospital access, is that actually getting around there? Health. Hospital. No. Building has collapsed. Where? That one? Really? Okay. Let's clip it. These houses have all evolved, good. No amphitheaters, that sucks, but okay. It's okay. No worries, no worries. And the chariots are here. Look at that. Distant battle. Got some chariots running around. <laughs> uh, maybe move the one tile buildings next to the fountain. That way you'll get more space for academies. Yeah, I could. I could totally just redistribute the one tile buildings. Like I can go here, here, here here to get rid of the four engineers posts move the doctors to here and here uh, move the barbers to here and here
And we have a Hippodrome! <laughs> At least there isn't any dreaded Market Lady glitch or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Pharaoh has the glitches. Pharaoh has the glitches. Always nice seeing that. Always nice seeing that. And look, with Destination Walker, Entertainment, Hippodrome. Perfect coverage. Wonderful. Well, for the rich people. Why isn't this evolving? Needs a supply of furniture. The market lady just walked by. Do not both of these... Wait, what? A market lady just walked by this house. Oh, wait, 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 wait. These two markets do not have furniture yet. Yeah, yeah, I, I forgot I put down two more markets. Okay. What do these need? Academy. Oh, right, I need academies. Um, so I can move small temple. Okay. And I can move small temple. Ah, oh, disease. All oh, right, I kind of boosted up my population with a bunch of tents. It's up here, is it? no? It's it's they burnt down those houses. Okay. I filled every gap there, so. Three percent unemployment. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Population history. A little bit of a dip there. It's okay. City health below average. Okay. Make sure they have food. <laughs> Why did this ran out of pottery? Oh, come on. These these markets are waiting for them to come online. Uh, hospitals, right? So we need academies and hospitals. Academy can now fit there. Oh, I can't. Uh, it doesn't really matter where I move these things, is it? <laughs> One academy is probably enough, but... Oh, the hospital is not reaching over there. How could I make that work better? I suppose if I get rid of that market and have one, two, three markets like that. These two markets have got the two types of food. That is now evolving. Okay. They should have everything they need, right? Now that these academies are walking around. Yes, yes. We did it. CK1J says, could you give me some tips on how does that export import works? Well, there's a lot of stuff there. Basically, you can set it to export over a certain number of units, which means if you have more than that number, you will sell it. Uh, right, the request. Let's dispatch that. Thank you for taking from where it needs to be taken from. I don't know if the natives are still buying stuff, buying the furniture. I think they aren't. We're losing quite a bit of money, but... If people are very pleased with you, maybe not that much. Shot by 53 employees? Okay. Yeah, it's because we lost all these houses. Are you done dying to disease? Victorious soldiers are back home. Goodwill fills the city. Fill that back up with houses. We need the people. Uh, can I move this temple to Mars to somewhere else? Just put it there first so that I can put down an amphitheater here. Do I have a gladiator school? Oh, that? These houses all burnt down? Oh, that's unfortunate. Gladiator school. Move this temple to Mars there. Put another amphitheater here. You know, people dying to disease. Not good for employment. Who knew? Who knew? 
I know we're I know we're losing. What happened to that infinite money? I turned off selling furniture, which I probably should turn back on. <laughs> uh, let's stop importing marble as well. I think we just imported like a ton of stuff. We haven't filled the warehouses. That that's why. But we can turn off importing. So that is there. What's wrong with this? Greater health provision. Yeah, we're not getting hospital coverage over there. Desirability issues over here. It's that reservoir. Yeah. Is, that, is that enough for you? Still, I'm gonna have to break the pattern here. Yes? Ah, not quite. Not quite. It's that reservoir. And we need to fit a hospital over on this side somehow. I think I do need to destroy that market. Once these two other markets are fully stocked, yes, that is good. That one doesn't have wine yet. I'll wait for that. Okay, third type of food. Surely these market ladies have everything. That one should be going to get wine. There, our money is going back up. Uh, our tax income is going to be going back up as well. These houses move back in, evolving up to small insulates. Food supply looking fine. Uh, medium insulates, do they just need, they need oil, right, to evolve further? So I'm not going to provide oil to this area. Not going to do it. I'm just doing this for the population, right? Not enough entertainment down here. Can I... Oh, getting an amphitheater down there might be a little tricky, but I could move this temple to Neptune to... You know, those houses just don't really function as intended. I'm gonna do this. Move that temple to Neptune up this side. Uh, replace those houses there. Change this to an amphitheater. Increasing the odds of gladiators walking around that side. Get these all up to medium insulators. Yes, yes. Good, good, good. Uh, there's another luxury palace. What? That's the red. Uh -huh. Okay. Does this have wine yet? Okay. So I can now get rid of that. Put down a hospital. There. Is that going to kill desirability? I don't know. Garden it up. Okay. Okay. We're under attack. We're under attack. Let's see where they're coming from. It is this side. Okay. That's the best side. A little short here, but it's okay. Okay, and we do have a spirit to Mars. Let's hope they waffle around a bit. I gave them lots of space to play with. I just hope these towers don't attract them too soon. I do have double row of towers here. Is that... Oh, how do I fix this desirability issue? It's that reservoir. I just... Would it matter if there was a large statue right there? Maybe, maybe not. Okay. 
save just in case. Okay, just in case. Okay, Legionnaires coming in. The Javelins are probably gonna get there first, so I might not... But why are you... No, no, let's pull the Javelins back. Let's don't accidentally attract them like we did last time. Let's let the Legionnaires get into position. There's those horse archers, the goth horse archers. I didn't know the goths used horse archers. Here come the legionnaires. Wait. What? Indigenous natives from where? Is it from here as well? I don't know. But we're gonna have to throw our javelins out there. It's from here as well. The natives are joining the goths. I might have mishandled this a little bit. Oh well, um... <laughs> uh, we, were, we were a bit late getting here, but... Can we fight this? Maybe, maybe not? The Legionnaires needed to be closer. Oh, we're actually okay. We're okay. We're okay. Ooh, those towers... Wait, did the... Did those natives just... Leave? Did those natives just leave? Wow. Okay. Sorry, Javelins, you had to take the brunt of that, but okay. They just, they just left. They saw all the Goths died and they're like, eh, maybe next time. Maybe next time. Uh, really? Is there still no hospital coverage over here? Are you serious? The hospital walker just never goes down that way. Move this out of the city. Get rid of that. It looks like we're overproducing food anyway. Put the gladiator school there. Put the hospital there. Enemies closing, okay. Short by 11 employees, okay. So now we have three hospitals here? That seems excessive, but for some reason, hospital access hospital. Like, down here. They just never walk down there. It's so strange. Oh, finally you walk to the left. This hospital here does that. Okay, so finally getting hospital access there. Please evolve. Small statue, small statue. Okay. Garden up the middle of that. Okay. Waiting for third type of food. We've got a market right there. So commerce food stocks coming on back. Has all the resources it needs. I bet desirability is an issue, but... can we do here? Oh, 5,000 people. 5,000 people, there we go. Okay. I just realized there's no way for furniture to get here. Because this, this guy, <laughs> 
had to walk... I don't even know if we can get out there. Is he walking all the way around the map? Oh, he is. He's going around this way. He's going around this way. Okay. Okay. Wine and oil seems full, so exports are going okay there. Let me just try garden that up. There's no more room for gardens here. Could I move? What can I move? I have too many temples here, right? One, two, three. I have all five temples here, so I don't actually need that temple. And I can put an oracle there instead. Yes. Problem solved. And there we go. The botanical bourgeoisie is complete. Four luxury palaces. So, ratings, culture should now, no, I mean prosperity should be sorted. Uh, people are extremely pleased with you, let's tax people a bit more. Uh, let me just make sure we are actually taxing this. Oh, I forgot, I never... Turn that off. Jeez, I'm sorry about that. Um, okay, so we are, we should be, oh, it's a new year, it's a new year. Okay. So, all of this is looking okay. So we just need another thousand population and get them working on culture. Right? We are completely overproducing food there. So, uh, with all of this... You know, I could just... I could just do this, right? Market. Get two markets there, because we've got lots of food. Get a reservoir stuck in there. Make sure there's a way through. Fountain. Fountain. Plaza. This area. Okay. Safety Kung says the city looks so good. Thank you so much. Um, I don't know if I could get water further out here. Which is fine. Which is fine. Uh, it's, it's a bit annoying. It's a bit annoying. there. Those markets will come down this way for the pottery, but I think that's okay. <laughs> uh, we can evolve some of these houses with desirability, I think. It's just, uh, let's not use gardens. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Is this... Oh, they're not getting entertainment. Okay. That's gonna start evolving there. We can now bust this down. I know that's affecting population, but it's okay. They're gonna move back in. Access to local religious facilities, okay. And just feed as many houses as possible. That's gonna cut into the food supply for now, but uh, shouldn't be the worst thing.
toss in an extra farm here and there. Okay. No basic educational facilities. School. So you can get water down this this stem of the flower. It's like the best coverage we can provide. Was oh, that not? There. Okay. Alright, just in case, throw a festival to Mars if we can get that going. Move a temple over. Get that coverage, okay. So this should start bringing in... The extra thousand people, plus these luxury palaces have room for more people as well, which will eventually move in. Okay, people are very pleased with you. Tax people a bit more, that's still eight above. Okay, okay. And as people move in, we can start pushing our furniture production back up, right? So let's go timber yard. Let's go timber yard. Let's go... Furniture. Let's go furniture. Oh, that respawned. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ten. Okay. Seventy-eight employees. More people moving in. Is this no fountain access? Need that fountain. Okay. So that's looking okay. Guys, Caesar 4 any good? Um it's different. It's different. Caesar 4 is different. <laughs> the Poppy Plebeians. These are the Poppy Plebeians, and this is the Botanical bourgeoisie. Ah, flower blocks. You always have to have a little alliteration. Oh, really? Fa Wait, didn't I put a fountain there? There we go. Okay. Increase the price of iron. There's that festival. Okay. So that should... Food seems to be keeping up. Food seems to be keeping up. 95 and... Okay, so we could actually support like another wheat farm. No basic educational facilities. Another school then. No school children are running down this road. They want to. They don't want to go to the farms. Okay. Oh, they did actually get pottery. If I wanted a bathhouse, we can do this. And we're going to be attacked again, so just in case. Food. I think it's holding? Yeah, yeah these markets just took food. Mm. I think it's holding? I think it's holding?
Eh, it's not the most efficient lock. Oh well. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. This seems pretty stable though. This seems stable, yeah, yeah. Wine, oil, okay. Money is holding. How's our prosperity? It's rising, it's just gonna take some time. Peace hasn't hit where it needs to be. Culture needs libraries. How's our employment? Still short, still short. Maybe I overbuilt things. Maybe I overbuilt things. Yeah, maybe I did. I don't need... Do I need this much? They are buying furniture out of there. And we still have a lot of slums. Wouldn't mind having more. <laughs> we'll see if uh, our prosperity is held back by too many slums. But I think I just need to watch... Because these houses just went through first feeding, which is always a stressful time for... Really? And still no basic education? All these school children, and none of them are running down this way. Okay. 400. Oh, city's mood is bad? People are indifferent to you. Just drop taxes a bit. 500. I think the granary does get enough food before something pulls it out of there. Oh, another school then. What are those? <laughs> Finally, school children ran down there. Uh, city's mood is probably poor because of so many slums. I also just really up taxes, so that, that's... Money's going up though. Money's going up. Employment is back to unemployment. We're almost at our target population. So now we can focus on culture. It's asking for libraries. Uh, actually, wait, before I do that. Don't suppose Governor Julio is in the chat. I never know how many temples I need for 6,000 people. Um, it doesn't really say. But theaters are pretty good as well for culture as well, right? Eight people. Actor colony. Really? Oh, drop taxes again. Theater. Let's get four theaters going, yeah? That should help with culture a little bit. Let me just check here. Coverage good. Coverage excellent. Coverage perfect. Oh, that's it. <laughs> uh, prosperity rating still rising. Um, we'll wait for the 6,000 people to come in. No employment problems, okay. Let's just speed this up. Are we actually floating? There must be room in these luxury palaces for more people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there's more room in these. Food is looking low down here, though. I don't think we can keep up with this. I don't think we can keep up with this. I'm gonna start destroying or limiting how many of these houses take food with fountain control, right? These houses that can't evolve do not take food, right? I'm pretty sure. Okay, kick those people out. I'd rather rich people move in than poor people. <laughs> oh, we're under attack again. Can I build a tiny flower? I mean, it's almost done by this level. Um, we have to wait. Oh, here. Okay. 
Okay, let's bring all these guys over. These are more gods. Yeah. Uh, we are not keeping up with the food there, are we? It's fine. I think it's okay. We just have to be a little careful. These houses should be fully stocked, so we have a buffer. We have a buffer. Now, I think we do have a Mars Blessing. This is closer, so we should be able to get our troops there on time unless these towers trigger things. Please don't charge at us. Do towers trigger their charging? Legion is almost there. Okay. They do charge. Let's just fight. Let's just fight. Please don't just run through. Please don't just run through. Why did these towers lose? More are spawning? Jeez. That's so many horses. Don't we have a Mars Blessing? Didn't we get a Mars Blessing? Oh, was it used? Oh, we don't have a Mars Blessing. Okay, we gotta deal with that. Can you guys go attack that, please? I think... I think... Attack... Fight them. Fight them. No, 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 don't... Don't do that, don't do that! Why? I hate how they do that. They just run right through. Oh, that's annoying. That's annoying. That's so annoying. You know, we did save not too long ago. And we're gonna limit this as well. To make sure we don't feed too far up this road. And I needed a school there. It's fine. It's fine. We can rectify this problem. We do need a bit more food around here, so... Yeah, let all these people moving in work at these farms. Okay. Now, this... Are enemies at the door already? September. Okay. All we need to do is get there before. I should have built a cavalry fort instead of javelins. Yeah. yeah that's probably a better idea. If our troops get to th where they need to be on time, it'll be good. Uh, I don't think I can get a festival, uh, like a blessing from Mars. I don't think I can. Uh, I put down, what was it? An actor colony here. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Okay. Yeah, I know we're really short on employees, but uh, entertainment and health and education take the hit. Yeah. So that should limit the food usage. With the extra farms, it should help as well. Okay. There's that. Okay. This clay pit. Yes. Uh, let's do that. Uh, 
Okay, we are actually very close to winning. We are very close to winning. But I don't want my city getting damaged like that because it hits the peace rating. Which sucks. It is February, so they should arrive around sep September, right? Right? Why are you devolving? No, wait, what? Needs a supply of furniture. Oh. The markets ran out of furniture. Did that happen before? All right, I also needed to drop taxes. It's June now. So, June, August, June, July, August, September. Next month, next month, July. If we just fight in front of the towers, we'll actually be okay. I'm pretty sure. Oh, so we can do some micro. Right? Stack the troops a bit. Okay. Now September. Those houses re-evolved. Furniture supplies going back up. Did I just overbuild things? Probably just a little bit of things. <laughs> Thing we we don't need. All of that. Yeah, just just so it's more manageable. Okay. We can also cut back on these extra farms. We don't need that. One of each farm seems to be keeping things up. Why is this devolving? Why? All the markets are fun. What what did you run out of? Oh, I hate this. I hate this. Okay, let's deal with this first. That should just re-evolve. Should just re-evolve. Okay, now let's do some micro here and pull them in one at a time. So if we fight them... Like this... We'll be able to deal with them so much better. Let them stream into their deaths. This needs to shift over one, I think. Okay. Look how different this is gonna... Be. This is gonna be so different. This is gonna be so different. Alright, those guys are shooting at us. Time to charge forward. Look at that. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, okay. <laughs> Makes a difference, doesn't it? Makes a difference. Okay. So, gladiators should be going up that way, which should evolve houses further. And if I just save right here. Make sure... See if I can speed things up. Does my city fall apart if I speed things up? Besides that... I hate that annoying event. You know, actually we could cut back on pottery production. That warehouse is actually full. That market actually has food. 
these granaries down here is struggling a little bit. Really? Well, it's indigenous, so... Probably won't be as bad. I need more houses? No, 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 I don't actually need more houses. I just need more time. Just in case I will grab these guys. Okay. Because there's still room for people to move in here. I'll hit my population target and I really don't want to go over it. We just need more time for the prosperity rating. But it's hard to speed through things. Because these invasions keep happening. Okay, javelins get there on time. Okay, thank you for that. Slowing us down. Oh, these natives. <laughs> that house did re-evolve though, look at that. That devolution kicked some people out of it, which sucks a bit more. Prosperity rating is still rising. We have that unemployment, so I can now start putting down that uh, actor colony. Theaters. Is that distant battle? Okay. Okay, got those running. Perfect, good. Too few libraries, yeah. Do I really need just a few more houses? I think I do. Oh, this is actually... I do need those farms, apparently. Particularly wheat. And meat. How come vegetables are okay? Hmm. That's strange. Ah, uh, well, if that's the case... Okay, okay, I'll... I'll, uh... Gatehouse here. Granary here. Engineer's post... Here. Gatehouse here. Yeah, that's fine. I'll touch those houses so that I can farm. Just stockpile some wheat there. <laughs> okay. Because we, we just don't have enough food on this map because of our such inefficient placement of everything, which does suck a little bit, but... Uh, we could probably slowly solve these problems. Hmm. Short by 44 employees. It's fine. 15 furniture. 15 in warehouse, jeez. We are short on furniture. You know, just, just take that. That's fine. How's prosperity? Rising? Maybe I just bring in some people, yeah? With the tents, it should... I think we can still... Where did I put those new houses? And that should bring us to 6,000 people. Good. Culture is what it needs to be. 
prosperity rating is rising. So if we just maintain this population right here, we should actually be able to win, right? Right, if I just maintain this, if I speed it, oh! <laughs> we did it! Guys, don't use these block designs, they're absolutely garbage. Uh, they are very, very pretty. They are very, very pretty. MikaFX, who submitted these designs, very pretty. They're exactly what I wanted to do. But by the way, I'm doing silly, silly challenges. They don't actually work very functionally. The whole point of this series is to prove that even at high levels of play, even on very hard in Caesar 3, you can beat the campaign doing silly, silly builds. So you can have your own style, you can do your own thing, you can be inefficient and still win the game because it's about having fun. Now, this is a little frustrating, but that's the whole point of City Builders, a little bit of frustration. And look at this botanical bourgeoisie and the poppy plebs. <laughs> and these two other flowers here, which I don't really know what they are. And the little dandelion at the start. But look at that, you can totally win this map with these silly block designs. And at least the botanical bourgeoisie looks kind of pretty. But yeah, it's not, it's not efficient. It's not efficient. Caesar has promoted you to the rank of Caesar. I never realized it actually said that. But anyway, let's go ahead and accept promotion. Nope. Incredible. I send you deep behind our weakest border, where the hatred of Rome is as thick as the trackless forests, and you build a strong outpost on the very bones of the Goths. What a great achievement. You know, it's called a great achievement, but you know, we did build this on the bones of the Goths. Uh... <laughs> Anyway, that's the end of Sarmi Zegatusa, one of my favorite maps because of its terrain. If you are watching this on YouTube, you can click the buttons on the screen right now to see the final two missions. It's AD100, final assignment, and next up we've got Massilia, the peaceful province, or Lindum, an extremely dangerous province. But if you're uh, watching this using those buttons, do make sure you go back and watch the military or peaceful counterparts of each mission or check out the full playlist. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video.